Hey, what's up? Welcome to Series English. My name is Antonia Remarker and today we shall discuss short answers. To tell the truth, they are very popular in spoken English. And they are more natural than whole sentences. So instead of answering, yes, I like sushi, you say, yes, I do. You do not say the whole sentence. You save your time. And short answers are more polite than just saying yes or no, with no continuation. Now let's take a look at the structure. What short answers usually consist of? We say yes or no. Choose the correct variant, whether you agree or disagree. Then you use a personal pronoun. I, you, he, she, it, we, they. And after that we use an auxiliary verb or a modal verb or some form of the verb to be. By the way, if you say no here after the auxiliary verb or a modal verb or some form of the verb to be, you need to use a negative particle not. This part depends on the question a lot. Now let's take a look at an example. Do you like broccoli? Yes, I do, but he doesn't. Notice that when we talk about ourselves, I, we say do, the same as in the question, but he doesn't, because he demands using does, not do. Anyway, the auxiliary verb in the short answer should correspond to the auxiliary verb in the question. So you usually take the auxiliary verb from the question and put it in your short answer. However, if, for example, here you have you or I, and here you have he or she and it, you should remember that the same auxiliary verb can be used a little bit differently with different subjects, different personal pronouns. You should follow those rules. Has he read this book? Yes, he has. The same auxiliary verb. No, he hasn't. One more example. Are you tired? Yes, I am. Here we use one of the forms of the verb to be, but note that in a question we have, are you tired? We have are. But in the answer we have, yes, I am. That's because the personal pronoun I demands using am not are, not is. Is he tired? Yes, he is. Are you tired? Yes, we are. Yes, I am. I am, but we are. So be careful here. Pay special attention to the personal pronoun you use and use the auxiliary verb corresponding to the auxiliary verb used in the question, the first auxiliary verb. Have you been studying a lot? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Do you like studying English? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Really? Can you run fast? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Should we be worried? Yes, you should. Instead of an auxiliary verb here, you can use a modal verb. And now let's practice a little more. Here are the questions. Try answering them both positively and negatively. By the way, notice what you have in the third position. Is it an auxiliary verb, a modal verb, or some form of the verb to be? Are you busy? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. And if you say we, you answer yes, we are, or no, we aren't. So are you busy at the moment? Yes, you are, because you are studying English with me. 
Are you married? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. I am. Can you swim? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Notice that in short negative answers, we have contractions most of the time. Yes, I am, but no, I'm not. No, he hasn't. No, she won't. And so on. Can you swim? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Will your sister drop in? Yes, she will. No, she won't. No, she will not. Do not forget that will not can be shortened as won't. Here, as the subject, we don't have a personal pronoun. It is possible. In your short answer, you are supposed to substitute this subject, this phrase, with the pronoun, with the corresponding pronoun. Here it would be she. Yes, she will. She will visit us. No, she won't. She'll be too busy. May I come in? Yes, you may. No, you may not. Is it raining? Yes, it is. No, it's not. It is snowing. Were you listening? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Let's answer this question with the personal pronoun we. Were you listening? Yes, we were. No, we weren't. Sorry. So here, when you formulate your short answer and you fill in the last position, the third position, auxiliary verb, modal verb, or a form of the verb to be, you usually take the first word from the question. However, do not forget that sometimes you need to adapt the auxiliary verb to the personal pronoun you use in the answer. Like here, were you listening? Yes, I was. We change were into was because we use I and I demands using was, not were. A couple of more examples. Try to think fast and give your short answers. Do you have a hobby? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Would you like to go to the cinema? Yes, I would. No, I wouldn't. Are you having lunch? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Does your mother work? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. She's retired. Have your friends met your girlfriend? No, they haven't. Yes, they have. Is Bitcoin still rising? Yes, it is. No, it's not. Will you marry me? Yes, I will. No, I won't. Sorry. Will you marry me? <laughs> will your boss be mad at you? Yes, he will. No, he won't. Should I help? Yes, you should. No, you shouldn't. Is this man bothering you? No, he isn't. Yes, he is. Are they mad? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Okay, that's it. I hope that now you don't have any doubts as to how you should use short answers. But still, if you have any questions, feel free to write a comment. Also, like, share and subscribe. And I hope to see you in my next video. Happy English and Russian practice. Bye!